All right, got put pizza here. Now, we know, as I said at nauseum, we create thought with our brains. Where did religious beliefs came from? Where did Christianity, Judaism, Islam, and uh, other religious beliefs from ancient times came from? There was incredible tolerance in the Roman Empire. There was not uh, racism. Uh, it made no difference if you were green or yellow or whatever. And you can, you know, we're all bisexual, so therefore they're, you have your boyfriends and girlfriends, your wife and all that. So it was very highly moral. Uh, the Lord and Savior U Julius Caesar, Gaius Julius Caesar, uh, he, a forgiver of sins, was an Epicurean, practiced Epicurean philosophy, which is an actually atheist philosophy, highly intellectual. The same thing of his father-in-law, my namesake, Lucius Calpunius Piso Cesar. You can Piso. see the temple. The oh. Roman Empire was immense, and it comprised all the way from Spain and uh, Africa all the way to, uh, to Iraq and um, Jerusalem. Here is the only holy city in the Roman Empire, the city of Rome. Here is the Pantheon, the divine for the seven gods of Rome. And next to it is the Septa Julia. Here is the Bath of Agrippa, the builder of the Pantheon. The, uh, they were extremely tolerant. There were many, many gods being worshipped. The Roman emperors were gods, starting with the divine Julius Caesar that had resurrected. Here is, a, you see in the back, the, the theater of, uh, of Pompey that was the council of Rome. Uh, Theory of Pompey, where the god Ulysses was killed, was assassinated and sacrificed, and the uh, the, the uh, stadium of Domitian. Here is the island Tiberina, uh, where the god Esculapius, the god of healing, was worshipped. His symbol was a snake. And uh, here is the uh, theater of Marcello. Uh, right now, there is um, there are nuns in there, and there's a small hospital. But the nuns are nothing but uh, remnants of the Vestal Virgins of Rome. Here is the theater of Marcello, uh, which is amazing what the, uh, the uh, Christianity has done, has ruined everything. And I was crying when I saw the destruction, because everything was stolen by the Catholic Church. I turned uh, Julius Caesar, Augustus, and great men of Rome into the Jesus Christ nonsense. Amazing. They brought this, they stagnated everything. They brought the Dark Ages into the into the world. I think everybody should come around here. The Museum of the Civiltà Romana. Know that many tourists come around this area, but it's important to get a, a good education to see uh, how the Roman Empire uh, did so many wonderful things. Cut Pun Piso here. Everybody, every Christian should come to Rome to really understand the extent of the damage what the mutation of the cult of Julius Caesar, 44 BCE, did, have done to the world. He mutated, Constantine completely mutated in 325, turning everything upside down, transforming Caesar into, into Jesus Christ, but a completely intolerant way of doing things. This is the city of Rome, the way it looked in the time of Constantine the 4th century. On top of the ruins of the temples stand now despicable churches. This is where Christianity began, but it was completely distorted. Right there. The place where God Caesar Christ was cremated and, uh, and whose ruins of the temple can be seen today. There is a, uh, then a comet appeared during his funeral games and here it is. There's a star became the star of Venus representing the comet of Caesar. And you can see that the church, the Catholic Church, it switched that around, made it into that, which is in this, which is the St. John Lateran. And uh, you can see the uh, Cairo now, uh, which uh, the Catholic Church adopted. And uh, the, 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 the doors of the church uh, have the stars and it was stolen from the Curia Julia. Uh, 
uh, the original. And then you can see Constantine the criminal. You can see his crown, uh, the crown of thorns, acantha leaves, which they used to have little gold uh, spikes on it, uh, which represent the sun god Apollo. And uh, all the uh, the Roman emperors were, you know, uh, wore this crown of thorns. Uh, here is the emperor Diocletian, about 280, preceding uh, Constantinus, with the crown of uh, of thorns. And here is uh, Augustus also. Uh, usually they have little uh, places where they can put. This is the god uh, Claudius, by the way. And look at here, the Statue of Liberty, which represents the sun god with the crown of thorns. Here is the original, uh, a religious belief or faith, which happened in the brain is a neurological anomaly that makes a person accept a mythology as if it was true. This is a tremendous tool that has been used in ancient times for thousands of years to be able to control the less educated, the retarded, and the ignorant gullible masses. Uh, kings use that to keep the plebs, like little retarded children, uh, happy and quiet behaving. The greatest civilization ever uh, was that of the uh, Roman Empire. They controlled the whole area, even with Jerusalem. Everything was Roman belief. The seven gods of Rome, the twelve, all the gods, everybody. And this civilization used uh, religious texts written and controlled by kings like Ptolemy, the Hellenistic king that was considered a god, a very intellectual, he translated the Septuagint. He gave the Jews the Septuagint. The Jews didn't have anything or nothing, just the merchants of the empire. Uh, Julius Caesar, uh, the god and savior in Rome that controlled the whole empire, uh, initiated what is today Judaism. Uh, Herod wrote the Bible, wrote his own Bibles, adapted because he was a king and also a pontiff, a leader, a religious leader and priest, and he controlled everything. And everything was Roman. All the temples were Roman, the gods were Roman, everything, but with different names, all over the empire. There was the other thing, Judaism, uh, Islam, any of the other religions originated in Rome, the Roman Empire. The sacrifice of the God and Savior, Julius Christ, uh, 15th of March, 44 BCE, and then the appearance of a comedy during his funeral games on the 20th of July of the same year, uh, propel. This is like 9-11 in ancient Rome, and that propel uh, the different religions which end up 400 years later into the mutations of uh, Christianity and then you know of course you have all the Judaism and then eventually Islam and what this. we have today all the mess. Arius minted about uh, you know after the uh, resurrection of Caesar after the death of uh, sacrifice of uh, Julius Christ yeah notice notice the man racing from the flames guided by a Nike a victory winget you know equivalent to an angel in Christian uh, going to heaven uh, this is a clear symbol of the resurrection of uh, the god Julius Caesar, who would become uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, Bio, which is a cross symbol. Later. Notice the cross symbol here. Notice the winged figure and the slaves at the defeated enemy around the bottom. So Caesar, during his, uh, uh, during his funeral, his wax image was placed on a cross. We're wearing his acantha leaves, his crown of, uh, of, ho of thorns uh, from Apollo. This uh, coin is uh, obvious. You have Caesar here, the name Caesar. And the tropium, a symbol of a cross. I mean, you cannot get any more obvious than that. People have to be very stupid not to realize it. A classic example of a tropium or a cross symbol. Notice that. When the son of God Augustus initiated the Pax Romana, becomes ruler of the whole vast empire, uh, 31, uh, 29 BCE, he constructed temples all over the place, all over. Uh, Jerusalem, everywhere, and everybody worshiped the Lord and Savior uh, resurrected uh, Julius Caesar. And uh, there was a Christ. And eventually, and you'll see the temples here. There was even one in, in uh, Jerusalem, which, you know, you can see about the pictures. It's right there. The coins, they don't lie. They're right there. And uh, why are the Jews worshiping in a, in a Roman temple? They were all Roman. And, of course, the answer is obvious. Here's where the temple of the resurrected Julius Christ looked uh, in 29 BC. Here is the temple of the divine Hadrian. Here is the Roman tomb of Herod. Uh, Roman Temple of the Rock, uh, Bar Kokhba with the Star of... Uh, here we have a synagogue which is a Roman temple with, the, with the, all the uh, Jewish symbols which are Roman. Here is uh, the Roma and Venus Temple in Rome. The believing only one God initiated intolerance and the destruction, the disintegration of the Roman Empire and the introduction of the Dark Ages. And that is actually a fact. The system of government of the United States, uh, its architecture, religion, the sacred rituals, 
everything, even including words in the language originating in the Roman Empire. Pace di Orom.